She was familiar with wars, despite feeling like every battle was lost. Strangers told her she was blessed to be the daughter raised by the voices in her head. She tends to her battle wounds so often that they never heal, kneel. She bows her body and pleads with God. Father, hear me. Know me. Show me how to surrender because I am tired of fighting myself. She was akin to the flame. Fire. It was within her. Desire. Desire. She felt the burn of dissatisfaction in her throat as she talked to herself, walked herself alongside the soothing sip of pleasure. Measure. She neither tallied her mistakes on her arms nor emptied her feasts into sewers, but rather became the stop sign on her own journey. Halt! She screamed. Where in the world do you think you are going? She was pleased by grinding, a game that littered her childhood. Sewing similar sounds together, her musical mouth shaped the most marvelous melodies. Melody. Can you hear them in her eyes? Can you see them in the way she listens? She was enchanted by change. Meanwhile, fear took his dark blue hands and played with her hair, braiding it into knots and tangles so that she might not come out the same. Afraid just as much of what she did as for what she failed to do. She carried self-criticism to see how much she would lock herself for the day. She was a daredevil, daring herself into compassion, disappointing herself into work, lying herself into happiness. Confused, her shoelaces were tied together around worries too heavy to drag into the future, too extraneous to lift. Shift. She tried to rhyme herself out of her reality she set up for herself. She was a barter. She was a heart too kind. Offering pieces of confidence out as concessions, letting the egos of the giant swallow the charisma she once had. Amistad. She befriended comparison, letting him become the thief of her joy. The glutton of her guarded heart, sharp. She broke, scattered. She let the wind carry her, for she was too tired to fight her own battles. Wounded. The salty tears didn't serve her well to clean the gashes she groped. She was a sailor. Tugging at the billows of her thoughts until they carried her out to sea where people could read them and water them, for they grew into her words. Surrounded by water, she found herself dried up. Words that they did not come. She was silenced by her thoughts. Her growing library of dead self-talk bounded her too often. She was often lost somewhere between identity and responsibility, trapped in the quiet section. She whispers to herself. Shh. She silences. She was loved, but, but not, not by herself. Love songs range, but the echoes found no shelter. The self-directed apathy consumed her. Little girl, little old me. It is not your responsibility to wear the world well. You can't. You are merely a piece in the shattered mosaic and never promised to be beautiful. Little girl, little old me. You are familiar with wars. You must know the power and freedom of surrender.